Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tony Martinez. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Fountain. A lot of you may not know where Fountain's at. We're a few miles south of Colorado Springs off of exit uh, 128 off of I-25. So just come on in, let us take a look, or let you guys just come on in. <laughs> we're gonna look at, uh, today we're looking at a 2023 Renegade Valencia. It's floor plan model 38BB. It's about 38 feet, two inches long and about 12 feet, 10 inches high. So if you're looking to build a shop, there's your measurements uh, to go. And then we'll go over some of the other specs as well. So we'll start off in the engine compartment here. So what you're looking at is the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. It has about 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. The way Freightliner designs their engine compartment, they do all your fluids on the exterior of the engine. So at a glance, you can check all of your fluids and you're not reaching any, reaching over any hot parts of the motor or anything. So they make it real convenient for that. So if you're someone who likes to do your own maintenance and check everything, Freightliner made it real easy. This coach is on the Freightliner S2 RV chassis, which is uh, Renegade's first uh, level of their coaches that are on the Freightliner chassis. Uh, this one has the 22 and a half inch wheels and tires on the Alcoa aluminum wheels. So basically the same wheels that uh, a diesel pusher would have. As you're looking at the coach as well, you have a, your coach is completely full body paint. So you don't have to worry about decals cracking or fading or anything else. Renegade does really well with, with all of their paint. As you step on back, this one has the Gerard awnings. Uh, it does have LED lights in it. It does come out quite a bit. As you see over here, there also, you see the Gerard box over here as well. That is not an awning for a patio. That is strictly for your slide. So as your slide comes out, that awning will cover the top of it to prevent any leaves or debris or anything from getting up there. So we'll start here. This coach has the Truma AquaGo system. So this isn't your conventional water heater. This is an on-demand water heater. So what this basically will do is provide you almost unlimited hot water. This coach does sleep 10. When we go inside, I'll show you everything. So you'll have plenty of water for, hot water for everybody. Um, it does run on propane, so that helps you too. Um, the one thing I do like about Renegade, the Renegades have a vast amount of storage. And for a Super C, that is pretty rare because uh, you don't have the pass-through storage like you do on a Class A because you have a drive shaft to contend with. So it doesn't allow for the pass-through. But Renegade does real well with their, their storage. This whole side is storage, which I really love. Everything's carpeted, so it kind of acts as a sound deadener, and it doesn't allow your stuff to slide around a whole heck of a lot. So we go to the next compartment here. Once again, carpeted. As you see what's on the, the floor of the compartment there, you have an air hose because you do have an onboard compressor. Those other things are travel locks for your slides. And then you do have an outlet on the top right. And then you have a little, uh, little entry point here. So you can run your cords and everything through that if you want to plug anything out here so you don't have to keep this door open all the time. So that makes it pretty convenient. You also have your outside TV. It's right underneath your awning. The awning does uh, provide some shade, so you don't catch much of a glare off of here. You do have the sound bar, uh, so if you're entertaining outside and everything, you can take a look at, at your TV while you're hanging out. Once again, more storage. Pretty big, so just about everything will fit in there that you could, you could want. More storage here. You do have your propane quick connect. This is an option on this coach. So um, once again, you have the little port to where you can run your hoses through it. So nothing, uh, you don't you can have your stuff plugged in without having this door open. And last but not least, you have your storage there as well. So the whole passenger side of this coach is, is all storage, which makes it nice because 
uh, storage is everything when it comes to RVs. As we go around the back, you can see the new cap. You do see up above, you see your, your rear view camera. You do have your hitch. This coach is rated to tow 12,000 pounds. Um, to get a coach to tow 12,000 pounds in a Class A, uh, you're looking at a bigger coach. This one's only 38 feet long, so that's a lot of towing capacity for, for a smaller coach. Uh, the pipe here, this is just for your generator. You do have your seven pin connector there for any kind of trailer or anything like that. All your lights are LEDs back here. As we go to the next compartment, you do have your transfer switch. Once again, you do have an outlet. You do have your 50 amp cord on a power reel. So that makes it real easy, especially when the cords get get real cold. They're real hard to deal with. The power reel makes it real happy. Um, one suggestion that I would give you, because I have from personal experience, when you do put your cord in, make sure you put this cap on. I'll tell you what happened to me when I first took a test drive. The head of that cord is pretty heavy. So as you're driving and everything, that cord, because it does line up perfectly, is going to eventually go down into that hole and then you're going to be dragging a cord along. So make sure that you put that cap on to just save your cord. This compartment here, you have your 8,000 kilowatt generator. This will power everything in the coach. This is a diesel. It does share the same tank with the unit. Um, there is a safety feature on it to where uh, your generator's fuel feed tube will only go to about a quarter of a tank. So if you're running your generator and it gets below a quarter of a tank, this is going to shut off. Or if you try to start it and it's below that point, it won't start. And that's just a protection so your generator doesn't run you out of fuel if you're out fishing or at the racetrack or anything. Right here we have our diesel fuel. This carries 100 gallons of uh, fuel. You have 10 gallons of death. So, and it is lockable, so nobody with, you know, with the price of diesel today, everybody's still your stuff, so make sure you lock it. This is your wet bay. As you can see your wet bay, you have your tank levels there. Everything is laser etched into the the steel there so you don't have to worry about a sticker coming off or something fading or getting rubbed off or anything like that so you have your your sewer hose storage there you have your water hose here and your water hose is on a power reel which is an option as well for renegade these next two compartments here i'm just going to open them both at the same time so you could look there's not much storage here. This is basically where your tanks are at and everything. Um, this is where you hook everything up, drop it down below. But there's not much storage there. That's mostly for your tanks. And the doors, I, that's the other thing I like about Renegade. Their doors are, are pretty secure and they're pretty easy to close. This is your propane tank. It's on board. It's not removable. You have about 20 gallons there, so it'll last you quite a bit. Uh, the whole idea behind the Super Seas is, you know, you're not in RV parks or anything like that. A lot of the Super Seas that I've sold people are, are avid car guys, racetrack, drag racing, fishing, things of that nature. So that tank will last you quite a while while you're out having fun. Another thing to point out here, your propane door will never have a lock on it. It's a safety issue, so as you can see, everything else is lockable except your propane door. This is your battery compartment. This one is optioned with the lithium batteries. This does have three 100 amp hour batteries. So that's what these are here. These are your chassis batteries. So that's what starts your engine. This is what powers the house. As we open the door, the blue, the blue uh, nozzle here, that's for your def tank. You can see you have two steps to get in. It's pretty easy to get in. Um, these are raised a little bit so you can get, even if it's slippery outside, your shoes will get a good grip on this so you don't slide anywhere. Your key right here, 
is pretty easy to get to. Um, it makes it easier for you to start the coach when you're even on the ground. You don't have to be inside to actually use the, to get the coach started. So we're gonna walk around. Once again, you can see on this side, a lot, it's just visual. You don't have to reach over any hot parts or anything like that to see your levels of everything. Your hood is on struts, so you don't have to worry about muscling it up or anything like that. It closes by itself. Your rear view cameras are here, so you have one in the back. These are turn signals. So as you turn your turn signals on, it'll show that side of the coach whatever side your turn signal's on. You look at your mirrors, every Valencia has that antenna there. So if you choose to do it, you're pre-wired for a CB. And the CB, when we go inside, I'll show you where the CB goes. We've installed several of them here at, in the fountain store, so I could show you that. Uh, once again, the Girard awnings above the slide. That is just for the slide, nothing else. It doesn't extend any farther than the slide. So we come on out. And Jody, would you like to go inside? Let's go inside. So as we go inside, uh, we do have the slides closed right now. One of the big questions that a lot of folks have is, do I have enough room to get to front to back? Uh, with the slides closed. Another thing that I love about the Super C's is there is plenty of room. The slides are, are deep, but there's plenty of room. You don't have to walk sideways or anything like that. You can get all the way to your bed. The only thing that you lose with the slides closed is the ability to walk around the bed. You can get into it, you just can't walk around it with the slides closed. This particular floor plan you have your bathroom, so you could get to the, and we'll go over this together, but your door opens completely, even with the slides closed. You can get into the refrigerator. So to grab any snacks or sodas or anything like that, you can get into the refrigerator as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the slides so you can see when the slides are open. This is a pretty deep slide, so once it opens, that creates a lot of floor space and a lot of room in here because once again, this coach will sleep up to 10 people. So as the slide goes out, you can see how, how much this uh, floor plan opens up to. And I'm gonna open up the back slide too. It's all in the same control here. So this is basically your power center. So you can control all the functions of the coach from here in the, the center LCD screen. So once again, as you can see, this is how much it opens up. The whole coach is wide open now. Plenty of room to, for multiple people to pass one another without bumping into one another. Uh, this coach does sleep 10 once again. So you have two in the king size bed. You have two in the bunks here. Two here in the table. Two here in the couch. And then two up here above the cab. So what we'll do is we'll start from the back, we'll just, and then we'll work up to the front. So in the back here, as you can see, you have a king bed, a couple nightstands for alarm clocks or a CPAP machine, anything like that. You do have outlets on both sides of the bed. They do have USB ports and it looks like a USB-C cord as well. So you can charge your phone, you can plug anything in. If you look up above, the bed here, as you're laying in bed, you can turn some lights on. You can actually start the generator from, from uh, this controller as you're laying in bed. For the bedroom, this is some of your closet space here. This is for your hanging clothes. 
and then you have one on the other side as well. You have plenty of storage space for your clothes, everything, all your drawers are soft clothes. Storage compartment there, a spot for your all your audio video equipment, that's where you would plug anything in, uh, dish receivers, um, DVD players, anything like that. This coach is equipped with in-motion satellite, so that uh, is a big plus. So you can watch TV as you are driving down the road. You have your TV, once again, hanging closet, just some storage for your shoes or anything like that. You do have some storage here. Underneath, you have 150 gallons of fresh water. So that's quite a bit of water for, for a coach. And then all your tanks, your black and your gray are 75 a piece. But with the, the water being inside here, as long as you have the heat on in here, you should be okay and it shouldn't freeze. Uh, I like Renegade the, the way they did that, so where it's inside of the coach. The bunk beds. I've sold a lot of these coaches to folks that don't even have kids because this top bunk will actually, you can remove it. And what a lot of folks will do is just turn this into a huge hanging closet. Uh, this coach, particular the way we ordered it, it does have TVs in both bunks. You do have DVDs so the kids can watch different programs and everything like that. You do have lighting. You do have your electrical port. Once again, USB-C charging, uh, USB ports, privacy curtains. Each kid would have their own window so you can vent the windows. And everything throughout the coach has the day shade and the night shade. They are manual, but all, all windows in the coach does have this. So the next part we'll go here is the bathroom. So the bathroom is pretty, pretty roomy for the size of coach that it is. You do have a porcelain toilet. Uh, you do have, let me get by here real quick. Quite a bit of storage, medicine cabinet, everything here, single sink, a lot of counter space for the size of bathroom that you're, you have. And then if you could, Jody, I'll show you here. This is the, the shower. So I always tell my folks when you're looking at a shower, make sure you stand in there and close the door because uh, some folks are bigger and everything and taller. So a lot of folks, if you Everybody fits in the shower with the door open. If you, once you close the door, if you can't wash yourself or move around properly, then it's, that's not gonna make for a very good experience. But this shower's big and you can move around inside of there. Let me get by here. And I'll close the door here. So this coach here, I'll let you squeeze by here. This coach is optioned with your stackable washer and dryer. They're separate units. They're not stacked on top of each other. You do have this for separation so that neither unit is going to vibrate into the other one. So it, it makes for, for a nice experience and it does work very, very well from what I've been told. Residential refrigerator gives you quite a bit of room does have an ice maker. You have a big storage compartment up here. However, to get to the very back of it, you'd have to be much taller than me or get a stool or anything, but I would recommend just putting anything that you don't use every day, just put it up here because it, it is pretty big. We go down below. You have all your fuses and everything. This is all your electrical how you would reset certain electrical features of the coach if, if something went. Extra storage, extra drawers, everything once again is soft close. Your stove here is propane, it's a three burner. Everybody's used to cooking on propane, that's 
one of the big fights that we ran into with some of the newer coaches going to induction. Uh, I mean, it's one of those things. Everybody's cooked on propane, so it's, it's pretty easy to adapt to, to cooking things on here. The slot boat back here is where you store your panels when you're not using them. Your microwave and convection. Uh, from what I understand, the microwave, everybody knows how to use the microwave. Um, the convection, quite a big learning curve. Expect to burn some food. No big deal if you do, it's all learning. For the main part of your coach, this is where you'd put your audio video equipment here as well. So everything would go in there, your dish receiver, PlayStation, Xbox, you know, you name it, this is where you would put it at. And once again, you have more storage here. All 12 volumes of owner's manuals here, so that'll uh, take a lot of reading to do everything. Uh, the way we do it here at the Fountain Store, which is the way that we do it at all of Trans West, is when you buy a coach from us, it's not the, the 3C delivery like, like uh, some of the other dealers, because we've heard it all. It's not to see your coach, see your keys, see you later. We go through everything together. Not only do we show you uh, how everything works, but we show you that it does in fact work. And that doesn't matter if it's a new coach or used coach. We do that on every delivery. Um, so as we go on here, a large sink. Extendable uh, faucet there. Once again, everything does have the day-night shades. You have your main TV here with sound bar. You do have the optional TV up above in the, of the cab for the bunk, so keep in mind that is optional. Uh, the bank almost makes a queen-size bed. You pull it out, both mattresses fit together. Um, you do have, once again, outlets for everything. You can control your lights up here. You can also control your, your vent up there, or not your vent, your window shade. You can control all of that um, here. And you can also control it on the pad, which we'll go, we'll go over that together as well. This right here, as we go around, this is your main couch. It does have some cup holders. That does turn into a bed. Uh, so you can sleep too comfortably there. This is a booth dinette. The booth is uh, really roomy, so even a guy who, who's a little larger in the midsection can fit in this comfortably and not be squashed or anything. That does convert into a bed. Uh, however, it would have to be a child or somebody smaller that would sit there because it's simply not big enough. Let me just go back. I totally skipped the storage here. So you have more storage up here. You do see the cushion up there that completes the bed down there. Your other cushions are down below here. So you have quite a bit of storage here. This is your one of your cushions to complete your bed if you were to turn the dinette into a sleeping area. And then more storage here and the other cushion. You do, do have seat belts to help with the kiddos. And then this one does have two air conditioners. So this is something that I think is pretty cool. Um, you have a unit here. Um, if you leave it in this, this arrangement here is what they, they call quick cool. So when you turn the air conditioner on, that air is just going to blow straight down into this area. If you need it to be more evenly uh, distributed, you just close these vents. And then it pushes the air into all of these ceiling vents so it will evenly distribute the, the air all throughout the coach. So what we're going to do is we'll go over this here. This is your control module here. This will control anything in the coach. So um, you can see it there. You have all your slide controls, your awning control, your window shade. That's like we talked about before. That's the window shade up above the cab. It'll control, control that one. 
your main lighting. You can turn all the lights on or off uh, based on this control here. All your electrical. This one does have solar in it, so you can see the functions of the solar. Uh, you can see the, the state of your, your lithium batteries, how much battery power you have on both, whether it's inverting or not. Your temperatures here. Uh, heat pumps for the air conditioners, your furnace, auto, uh, your agua go. Um, that's the water heater there. These are the vents that you have in the ceiling. You can move them up or down uh, just from here. Slide control here. Uh, you can control this through a mobile app and everything there. And then so what we do here, you do have your auto gen start. I don't have it set up. So what your auto gen start will do is basically monitor the condition of your batteries or the temperature of the coach or both depending on how you set it up. So if it senses the voltage of the battery is getting below a certain point, it'll actually start the generator, charge those batteries back up and then shut off. Or if you have pets in here and you're out hiking or doing anything like that, um, you can set it to temperature. So if the coach gets above a certain point, um, it'll start the generator, turn on the air conditioners, cool the coach down to that point and then shut itself off. So you don't have to worry about, long as the system is set and it's set properly, you don't have to worry about dead batteries or um, overheating your pets. But this is everything there is controls in the is controlled by the coach. Um, what we'll do here, we'll go up to the cab. So the cab here is all Freightliner. Um, Renegade doesn't really have anything to do with a whole lot of this. Um, that antenna that we talked about earlier, if you want to put a CB, this just gets removed and there's some wiring back there to set up your CB. On this side you have your cruise control. You have your windshield wipers. If you can see the pedal down below, that's how you adjust the steering wheel up and down. This does have the brake controller. That is an option, believe it or not, with Renegade. Um, but that is an option. Uh, you do have the Allison transmission. It's a six speed. Uh, once again, you have 360 horsepower, 800 foot pounds of torque. Your power window motors, or your power windows, your, your locks, your auto leveling system. So you don't have to worry about going from corner to corner. You just turn the power on, you hit auto level, and it does its own thing. Your radio here is made by Garmin. Um, this is where your navigation's at, your radio, anything like that. It is removable, so you can take it off and you can do things uh, without sitting in the, the driver's seat. So that makes it pretty nice. All your seats are air seats, so as you're driving, you can control the level of bounce. Um, that does make, make better because you do have regular suspension in the front and you do have airbags in the back, so it will bounce around a little more than a Class A, but I mean, with the seats the way they are and they're set up, that's, it makes for a pretty comfortable ride and surprisingly quiet. Um, so um, that's about it on the, the 2023 Valencia uh, 38BB. Um, it's a nice coach. It's one of the Renegade's most popular coaches uh, just due to the versatility of you can sleep 10 people or you can have a huge hanging closet or anything like that. So if you have any questions on this coach, uh, once again, I'm Tony Martinez. Uh, my number is 719-423-9813. So you can call me, you can text me. Um, I'm an Android guy. So if you, you want a duo or Zoom or anything like that, I would be more than happy to do any kind of a video walk around with you um, well, so you can see it firsthand if there's a particular coach that you want to see. Um, and we do share inventory, so if it's something that you don't see in Fountain, uh, give me a call. I can get information on it. So um, until next time, you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.